Hey everybody, I'm Tad Sadarchi. Yeah, I'm Corey Bourbon. And this time we're doing a quick review on Batman Under the Red Hood. I have seen every animated Batman movie and I actually have to say that this ties for my favorite. My first fa uh, my favorite of the original animated series, uh, ones being <clears throat> Sub-Zero, the one about uh, Mr. Freeze, which was really good. And then my second favorite being uh, Batman Return of the Joker, uh, Batman Beyond Return of the Joker. Yeah, which is a really good movie. But uh, this one actually ties Sub-Zero for my favorite movie, and I know a lot of people are like, John DiMaggio didn't do a good job as, you know, the Joker. It's like, really? Really? Well, let me splice in a couple clips of some Jokers that have been in the other animated Batman series. There have been some terrible Jokers here in the past, and John by far is not one of them. No, he's actually probably one of the better Jokers. I mean, there have been a couple really good Jokers in the past, but uh, John's actually does a, he does a really good Joker laugh. Uh, I mean, uh, in the beginning of uh, I, in the beginning of the film, I felt it's like yeah, maybe he could have done it a little differently. But by the end of the movie, I'm like, fuck, this is awesome. This is the shit. This is you know, this is the epitome of what Batman should be on TV. It's like why doesn't like Comedy Central or Adult Swim, one of those things that actually has a cartoons for adults, have something like this for Batman? Right. People would love the fuck out of something. And like this one did have a different change of pace coming because I'm like. Like the other movies and stuff, and the the Batman anime series, it was dark and stuff, and you know, but it was still for kids. This one was like this is like for kids that are like seventeen or over and something like that. Because there's people that have to die, and there's blood and dark shit. And so. uh, for those of you who uh, who know Batman very well, this is based on something that actually did happen in the comics, and it's a it's a really good take on what happened in the comics. It's a I really wish they would do this with uh with other things that Batman's done in the past, uh, like the the shorter series that they had, like the Killing joke and so on and so forth some of the more famous batman things but this is the epitome of what batman should be i mean you see a lot of you know i mean there, there are the live action film uh, the, the newer live action films which are pretty good but this this is under the red hood is pretty much the epitome of what batman as a series kind of is mm -hmm. so i really did enjoy this and it's probably one of my favorite things batman's ever been in uh the voice cast was good the actual storytelling was good the dialogue was good you got a couple good you know uh, first Robin jokes in there because, you know, the first Robin always had those one-liners and shit, but uh, it really did have that Batman feel to it, and I really did enjoy it a lot. Even though I'm not a big fan of DC in general, this really did... Uh, so I, I actually, after the movie was over, I just kind of said, more of this! Mm -hmm. And that, yeah, I agree with that as well. I mean, um, the movie was like, yeah, like I said, it was different than the you know, other movies I've seen of Batman and stuff, but, uh... <clears throat> It was uh, darker in, in, in its way, uh, uh, this, you know, like, wanting to, like, set people on fire, and, and sh people getting shot, and stuff like that, and the story was pretty good, too, and um, something about the second Robin, which I haven't seen that much about the second Robin, so if you want to know more about the second Robin, this is a movie basically all about him and shit, so uh, you like that, and uh, Batman had, a, the action was good, too, a lot of jumping and fighting and shit like that. Uh, the villains were pretty creepy, and they were assholes, and villains, and, and villainy. They were villainish. What? They were villain-ish. Villain-ish, right. They could have been more, but, you know, more joke, but Joker wasn't the highlight of this. It was more of the Robin. So... I, I really did like the, the, the way the direction went in this movie, mostly mm -hmm. because it was just... Uh, it really did not leave any stone unturned. At the end of the movie, you knew how everything went, all of your questions were answered, and, you had, and it was basically the end. And it's like, okay, mm. uh, I, I am informed, I know what happened, there's no plot holes, there's no stone left unturned, it all made sense. Mm. Which is something most movies don't do. So, uh, really enjoyable. And also, the animation was good, too. The animation was good, and uh, it, it's a shorter film, so it's one of those things that's like, I, I want to kill like an hour and ten minutes. Mm -hmm. So there you go. Uh, Batman Under the Red Hood, I say watch it, really yeah. good. And for the love of God, give John DiMaggio a chance as a Joker. Seriously, there are some terrible, terrible, terrible Jokers out there. John yeah. DiMaggio is and not one I mean, that was his, like, I, was his first take on it, too? First take as a Joker. And you know, as people have to get more into it, everybody sucks when they first start with a character. It doesn't matter how if they're like imitating someone else or they just started from scratch. But as time goes by, they still stick to that character. They will get better and develop more into it. So there you go, on the red hood. Woo! It's pretty good. Good movie. Good. good.